Ionic compounds consist of positively charged and negatively charged ions that combine in a proportion so that their charges add up to zero. Transition metals can form multiple ions, each with a different positive charge, but the charge of the transition metal ions will always need to add with the negative charge to equal zero. The anion always has a predictable charge based on the group in the periodic table. Chlorine is in group 7 and they all form negative 1 ions. Sulfur is in group 6 and they all form negative 2 ions. When the atoms form anions, we change the ending of their name to I. There are two chloride ions, each with a negative 1 charge, so that's a total of 2 minus. Since there's only one manganese, it must have a 2 positive charge to balance out the chlorides. We show the charge after the name of the cation with the Roman numeral 2. This is manganese 2 chloride. Next, there are 3 sulfides, each with a 2 minus charge, that's 6 minus total. There are 2 iron ions, which must both be 3 positive, since it has to balance out the 6 minus. So we write iron with the Roman numeral 3, iron 3 sulfide. 